guys! There's a war coming! And I don't know if we're prepared enough! Shit's about to go down, cause it's week 32. And shit's always about to go down when it gets really close to here at the end of the game, so... Let's hope I'm good enough at everything! <laughs> let's do this. You practice touch blocking skills at full speed, deflecting hands before they can reach you. You practice running through a field, dodging balls that are thrown at you from all sides. You learn about the support costs created by support. The more equipment you have, the more people and animals are needed to move them, and then those people and animals also need to be fed and equipped. You learn about the you learn about the difficulty of obtaining new supplies from the field. Enemy civilians may hide or destroy supplies rather than let them fall into your hands, and friendly civilians may not stay friendly if robbed. Things have been so unsettled lately. Everyone's on edge. We need something cheerful. We could hold a tournament. What a good idea! Knights jousting, musicians, all sorts of competitions. Everyone loves a contest. What will you offer as prizes to the winners? Mm. Employment? The winners will have the option of taking up royal appointments. It's a recruitment drive! Very well. I will draft the announcements. You leave him to his work. As you move through the hall, your eye falls upon a vase of flowers. Pretty, but apparently not getting enough water. The leaves on one blossom have shriveled. <laughs> Someone on hall duty is being lazy. Those flowers should be replaced. You continue up the stairs to your room, where a maid is waiting for you. My lady, a gift has arrived from Kiggle. From the Duke? No, my lady. A merchant house, I believe. It was sent with a shipment down the Kav Kavala River. You tear open the brightly colored paper to find... Chocolates! There is a little card with a box. With our compliments, the house of Kralet. Oh no, everything is failing. You pop one of the chocolates into your mouth. And I'm gonna die. Oh no. No. The one thing I totally forgot! Dying by chocolate! Damn it. Elodie did not survive to reach her coronation. Nova would have to go on without her, but it doesn't have to end this way. Make different choices, train different skills, and Elodie's star may rise again! Oh, load my game. Okay. Okay. Yeah. NOTHING I DO! Not a single thing is gonna fix that. I don't think I have enough decoration to prepare myself for that. Or composure. Or... Anything, really. Cause trade and production... Oh man. Not even enough divination, and I'm not even good with dogs. I can't even do any animal handling right now. Shit balls. Um, if I go back here and load from there, I may have a chance. best place to load from. Oh no! That's too far back. This is not working out well. I have a new outfit. A tuxedo to boost economics, which is kind of what I need right now. Hopefully that's enough to save my life. Because now I seriously need to work on the military really fucking bad. Please have me live. All I care about is if I live. 
Okay, good. Chocolate producers in Kegel usually ship goods down to the Napo River through Ursul, not straight to the capital. This merchant house probably specializes in something else and only traded for the chocolate. There's something suspicious about this. Test for poison. Eggs a chicken, I got it. Eggs a chicken. Oh man. Okay, so I saved myself. Good. Uh, there. I'm gonna make myself angry. And then I'm gonna switch outfits to boost my weapons. Ah, uh, man. Then I'm gonna work on logistics. Gonna bring up my pole arms, and then everything will be good again! Hopefully. This is the week of the general tournament. Nobles and commoners alike have turned out to compete against each other. The people will be pleased if you participate in their games. However, it would expose you to danger. What event do you wish to take part in? Jousting? Oh no, but if I fuck up because I didn't save. Oh. Oh jeez. I'm not gonna participate! I guess I'll just watch from my tower. The tournament goes on without you. After the tournament, you check in with palace security about the chocolates you sent to be tested. Based on the effect they had on the peasants in the dungeon, the candies were definitely poisoned. The merchant house named on the card is fictitious. No such trader is registered in Kegel. However, the chocolates themselves arrived in a shipment from a trusted supplier, one whose goods are only subject to the occasional sampling checks instead of more thorough scrutiny. It's hard to imagine a supplier willing to risk losing the royal warrant by taking part in a clumsy assassination attempt. The reputation boost of being known to do business with the palace is quite valuable. Regardless, surely someone in palace security should have been paying more attention. Wait for more information. I need to find my real enemy. Get angry, woman. Okay, so... I unlocked a new outfit for the military. Which, I guess I don't need pole arms anymore because I didn't participate in the, uh... tournament, so... Yeah! Naval, naval strategy, I guess. I don't know. I, I guess, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna save now. Cause that was terrifying. Okay. You study different kinds of transport. Wagons, sledges, ships, boats, and boots. Learn about the support costs created by support. The more equipment you have, the more people and animals are needed to move them, and blah 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 blah. You'll learn important things, basically. Milady, your father wishes to speak with you. He says it's urgent. Fine, I'm coming. You find your father standing over a map of the coastline, his face grave. Ships have been sighted on, appro on approach from Sen Shangia. Not trade ships. This is a war fleet. I've been expecting something like that. Within a week, they will be in Novan waters. Within two, they could reach the capital. Then we will fight to defend ourselves. You can try to use the treasury funds to hire additional soldiers, but it may be difficult on short notice. Recruit! Fine, we'll do that. What about Teles? Can we call on any troops from Sedna? Send a message, but even if he agrees, it will take time for our soldiers to mobilize. You will need to draw up a naval strategy for our ships to carry out. You could choose to act as admiral and lead the fleet in person, but the danger to you would be very great. Unless you think your personal skills will make the difference, I would strongly advise against it. For now, I'll direct the fleet. The risk is mine to take. You have your mother's heart. Do your best, and Nova will survive. 
get more angry! <laughs> okay, um... I have nothing on medicine, which is going to be a huge disadvantage. So move out on strategy. Just keep working hard. That's all that matters. I can now tour the barracks. Make my naval strategy really high. Danger on the high seas. Ships close in on each other, angling into range. Climbing field. We take your position with a spy boss, watching the enemy movements closely and shouting out any necessary changes in plan. The Shenjians outnumber you slightly, but it could all come down to strategy. The eventual outcome is not in our favor. The Novan ships are sunk or scattered as the Shenjian forces press towards them. Your grasp of strategy allows you to recognize when the checkpoint has been passed and order your remaining vessels to retreat before they are destroyed. This saves lives, but means leaving the Novan approach completely unguarded. Many good soldiers were lost today, and Nova's troubles have not ended. Since you have failed to repel the invasion, the Shanjian fleet will soon land and their troops will begin to progress towards your capital city. Your remaining soldiers will hold them off as long as possible, of course, but the main strength of your military has been exhausted. Nova's future looks weak. Shit. Well, I was not expecting that. I guess I'll be depressed and pressured. So, that didn't go well. I think I'm just gonna reload that. someone else do that part yeah about the war stuff yeah um recruit soldiers send a message um I'm gonna stay in the capital okay we're, we're doing good there are approximately 11 battalions and one platoon under your direct command New ships of the line are undergoing final checkout. Okay, good. So, uh, bring up logistics for, for strategy. I think I'll keep strategy just in case something goes wrong. Okay! Things are about to get really ugly. So, strategy is going up, which is good. Naval strategy is going up, which is good. Okay. Danger on the high seas. Ships close in on each other, angling into range. The Shanjians have never used slightly, but it could have time to strategy. The eventual outcome. Not in your favor. The Novian ships are sunk or scattered as the Shanjian forces rest towards them. Many good soldiers were lost today, and Novian troubles are not in them. Since they failed to repel the invasion, the Shanjian fleet will soon land, and the troops will begin to progress towards your capital city. Your remaining soldiers. Soldiers. Shoulders. We'll hold them off as long as possible, of course, but the main strength in your military has been exhausted. No feature looks bleak. God damn it! I'm trying so hard, though. I'm just, I'm trying so fucking hard, and none of it's working. Uh. Okay, let's go. Work towards this. It'll work. Yay! You study the effects of strong hierarchy on military organization and the ability of troops to respond to changing situations. Communication across an army can be difficult, disruptive signals can lead to chaos. You study famous battles, the disasters and the mistakes which created them, and the turning points in larger conflicts and why they made a difference. You study the concept of defeat in detail and how an army can be destroyed by crushing small parts one at a time rather than attacking it all at once. I have nothing more to learn. Studying all sorts of stuff. The invasion of Nova is proceeding. Your coastline is under Shanjian control. Soldiers have marched through villages, trampling fields, and frightening citizens. A diplomatic delegation from Shanjia has requested access to the castle to discuss terms, most likely for your surrender. You lack the strength to hold off their armies, and surrendering now will save many lives. It would seem that you have no choice. Almost no choice. Your fiancé, Duke Terrorist of Sedna, has sent you a message. He does not personally command enough soldiers to turn the tide against the invasion. But his king in Tel Ace is eager to discuss a formal alliance. If you flee the capital now, you should be able to evade the army and reach the Telesian border. Run away! 
Gathering what equipment and money you can, you sneak out of the castle and flee into the east. Agents of Sedna meet you partway through your journey to give you aid and keep you safe until you reach Telis. Where a while as Shanjians loot your domain, you and the Duke of Sedna will be married. Together you can gather the power necessary to retake your throne, you hope. Aw oh, no. And so the reins of power slipped from Melody's grasp. Nova would have to go on without her. But it doesn't have to end this way. Make different choices. Train different skills. And Elodie's star may rise again. No! I still fucked up. Man. This game is so hard. I guess that's my outcome this time. I disappointed myself. The only time I've ever actually been able to win this game is if I went down the magical route. Which I guess makes sense, because magic can help you in times like these where... But... Yeah. Okay. I guess that's it, guys. I guess I couldn't win against the invasion. I tried. See ya. Hey, guys. Uh, this is my end card. If you want to subscribe, just click my icon, and if you're interested in any of the other videos I make, there is Town of Salem, uh, The Sword of Asumi, Dysfunctional Systems, Episode 1, Learning to Manage Chaos, and uh, if you want to see the next episode of Long Live the Queen, just click the icon for that as well. So uh, enjoy your day, guys, or night, or whatever time it is. Later! <laughs>